Hey, Alex, uh, welcome back to the lineup. Um, first of all, I guess uh, for you tonight, how was it to be back out there? And also six assists, the most you've had since February of last season. Yeah, it felt good to play again. You know, it's always hard when you don't play, you know, the competitive pitch that I have. Oh. Wow. Am I still on there? Yeah. It popped up on our screen. So, yeah, it felt good to get back out there and play. Uh, you know, I love the game, love playing with my teammates. Um, always, always fun when I can get back out there. So, uh, a couple of days of rest, let the hand get a little better. Um, and then, yeah, six assists. Uh, I don't remember all of them, but I know a couple of them were, were to some bigs um, and a couple in transition. You know, just opportunistic. You know, there's a couple also that, uh, were available that I think I didn't get the ball there. I didn't deliver it just because I think my hand is bogging me, bothering me a little bit with some of the passes I'm trying to make, you know, just the control and the feel with, with how I have it taped up. But, uh, you know, overall, uh, you know, glad to be back, glad to, glad to help out in any way I can. And, you know, six assists is just a uh, cherry on top. You guys were down 20 points in that first quarter. It seemed really early in the game. Obviously you came back and won, Pretty easily. How'd you get down so much? And, and also, more importantly, how'd you come back and win like, like that? Yeah, I think it was us just turning up our aggression um, both ways. <clears throat> Excuse me, both ways. You know, defensively impacting the ball a little more, getting deflections, getting out in transition. Um, playing in transition on offense is always good for us, you know, because we have such great, great weapons in, uh, in the open floor. And then offensively, I think just, you know, simplifying it, uh, making the easy reads, you know, early attacks to draw two, kick to somebody, extra pass. Uh, I don't know how we shot the ball tonight, but I felt like we missed some really good looks. So, uh, you know, it could have been better <clears throat> in the first half, but, you know, our defense has to kind of carry us in, in dry spells on offense. Like you, Alex, uh, Anthony also sat, sat out a couple games, 35 points in his return. How did he look to you? Yeah, I didn't even know he had 35 until the game was over. It was one of those classic eight, uh, AD games where, you know, you think he's probably got like 20 and then all of a sudden he's got 35 or 40, but you know, he's really just, you know, kind of finding his groove. You know, he's been dealing with some uh, some injuries and just being banged up coming back in season. And then also, you know, just trying to find his flow with, with some of the new pieces we have. So uh, welcoming sign, you know, getting him up to, I think he took maybe 27 shots and made, made 16. So a solid, solid percentage. But really, we're just trying to make it easier for him. You know, he, he does so much for us defensively and on the glass. Uh, we're, we're trying to do a good job as teammates, you know, getting him, getting him the ball in opportunistic areas. Thanks, Alex. Yep. Let's go to Kyle Goon. Hey, Alex. Um, you know, you're one of uh, Kyle's most tenured teammates now. And um, I I'm just wondering, a, a lot of guys have talked about sort of his evolution this year and AD could describe as a leap. What have you seen mentally or, or, or engagement-wise that feels different about Kuz and, and how he's approaching the game this year? You know, I think he's just doing a really good job of being comfortable with who he is on the court. You know, uh, playing in L.A., sometimes you can think you need to be this or be that. And I think he's just, you know, really accepting what he's really good at, uh, which is shooting the ball, creating a little bit when it's when it's opportunistic for him, <clears throat> playing hard on defense and then rebounding. You know, that was one thing I remember from playing in summer league, you know, just thinking about how hard he played and, and, and remembering all the way back three, four years ago. And, and you know, I think he's trying to, figure out how he can contribute. And I think he's doing a really good job of that. Hey, let's go to Claudia, please. Alex, can you talk about uh, Jonas Valanciunas? Obviously he had another great game, but how do you guys slow him down and limit his game tonight? Yeah, you know, he does a really good job of playing, uh, playing off of the pick and roll with, with their guards, especially with Jaw. You know, Jaw is such a, uh, an athletic player, a, aggressive downhill driver and, and, and usually it takes two to corral him and, and a lot of times Jonas is the beneficiary of, of late dump offs or, or for us our veer concept of the guard getting in and getting some rebounds but you know he's been playing great for them you know they've got guys hurt uh Clark Jaron Jackson guys that that you know take a lot of that that role responsibility with John and, and you know he's been a pro for however many years he's he's been in the league and, and he's just really really efficient and you know, I think coming into this game, his last three games have been averaging like 20 and 15. And, you know, he didn't slow down tonight. He made a bunch of shots and plays at his own pace. Uh, he's a really good player. Thank you. Right, we're going to take last two, please. Let's go to Kahari Jones. Hey, what's going on, Alex? Uh, 
uh, AD kind of talked about how him and LeBron, you know, communicate on the bench, especially that they don't, uh, a lot of the time they don't get, get time. You know, is that something that you notice? And, and if it does, how does it uh, impact you? Yeah, you know, we have such uh, team-wide, you know, from the head coach down to the, the last guy on the bench, I think we have a really good team IQ. Uh, you know, a lot like last year, we, we got guys that can watch film or, or talk about stuff on the fly and kind of react and make changes. And uh, that's one thing. If I ever see something, uh, I try to talk to Braun about it or I try to talk to AD about it or I try to talk to whoever is involved. Um, that's just part of being a good team. You know, that's part of, of uh, playing championship basketball is, is seeing what's going on in the court, talking about it, making adjustments, and then taking advantage of it. And, uh, you know, obviously with, with AD and Braun, they, they're in a lot of the action. So for them, their communication is constant. And uh, anytime I can listen or I can, I can have input to, you know, have a, have a positive impact, I try to do that. All right, and one last question here. Let's go to Sean Coleman. Hey, Alex, uh, uh, Sean Coleman with Locked on Grizzlies. Just wanted to ask real quickly, you mentioned, you talked a little bit about Jaw and the, you know, his overall play. You're a highly effective defender, but with his ability to penetrate, but then the accuracy of passes out to the teammates for shooting the three, what type of pressure does that put on you? I mean, is it more than most do? And just, you know, how hard is it to adjust on a, you know, daily basis? Though you are very good yourself at adjusting, just the pressure he puts on you as the point of attack guard. Yeah, you know, he does a really good job of, of getting downhill. And I can tell, uh, you know, I haven't played against him since last year. And, and I can tell that he's he's evolving his game a little. He's starting to use a snake dribble, cut back across in front of the big, uh, hold off the defenders, which is, uh, you know, I think some growth in his game. And like you said, you know, once he gets into the paint, he's got the floater. He's got the left-handed finish. He can finish right. Um, and, and he's starting to shoot the ball well, too. So, you know, he, he's starting to turn into a really, really good player. Uh, he's already a really good player, but, you know, uh, a player that, that doesn't have a, a deficiency or a weakness. And, and, you know, having guys around him that, that can shoot the ball well, Grayson shot the ball well tonight. Dylan's usually a really good shooter. Um, you know, J Jaron Jackson can shoot and stretch the floor. So when they're healthy, they're, they're uh, uh, a, a different team. But, but you know, Jaw is the head of the snake for them. He, he kind of gets them going, and you, you can see why they've had so much success with him there. All right, Alex. Thank you for your time, sir. Thanks, guys.